All right, guys, welcome back to another course. In this episode, we are going to be giving away this Warlock by Gateway right here. Awesome disc, 175. But all you got to do to win this is leave a comment. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Enjoy the course. All right, guys, welcome to Pueblo City Park. This is going to be in Pueblo, uh, Colorado. This is another course that was recommended to me through the Mile High Disc Golf Club. A beautiful course uh, right next to a zoo. Going to be starting off hole one. This is a par four. Road is OB to the right. So I'm going to be throwing my fission photon here and just leaked it just a smidgen to the right. But luckily I was able to hyzer back in getting around that tree. Had a great skip. And I believe I got here right around 8 o'clock, and there was uh, quite a few people here. So this is a very well-played course. And uh, just uh, with the trees and everything, they did a wonderful job designing it. Spoiler alert. But here we go. Uh, I was able to cash in a birdie on that one. So hole number two, they just recently uh switched some of the pars around because when i played this this was a par three but i screenshot some of the new layouts they adjusted this to a par four apparently so maybe they they moved the pin locations but when i was editing this video about two weeks later uh, some changes were made but the the distances were all still pretty accurate so hole three 348 this one's going to be going across the field here and then it's going to be coming into these trees. And I'm going to be throwing my uh, octane here. Just had a little bit of a low release. But it was one of those that will just skip and, and keep flying. So I was happy with that. The ground, the ground play here is really nice. They do a great job maintaining this park as well. So from here, just going to be putting for par. Hole number four, 388. Pretty long hole. You got OB to the left. And you'll see here in this time lapse that where that guy is, that's where the other basket is for uh, hole number three. So you have a Mando to the left. If you look at that tree right there, you can see the arrow just obviously to make sure uh, you're not thrown into the other uh, green there. But throwing my reactor just ended up, once again, throwing a little bit low into the ground. And I've really been working a lot on my upshot, so happy with that right there. Able to take a par. Hole number four, a par five. I guess it, this is another one that they just recently switched because when I played it, it was a par four. So somebody will probably went in there and mess with it. But I'm throwing my insanity here. This is one that will flip up ride straight and has a very slow finish to the right and man i'm kind of bummed it wasn't a par four or a par five when i played because this would have been for an albatross but it was for an eagle because it was a par four so this is going to be 365 going to be coming out of the trees and then the basket will be just slightly to the right so you can throw, you know, there are a few different lines here. And that's what I, I really enjoyed about this course is even though there are trees, they do give you multiple options for uh, your lines and what you're wanting to throw. And that octane, I just threw it a little bit nose up and it came up way short. But I was able to get a par there. So hole seven, going to be 264. And they must have just recently moved this one as well because this was actually playing about 400 and some change. This was a par four when I played it. So I do apologize uh, for a little bit of the confusion, but they must have, like I said, I, I know there were multiple pin locations. So this was playing in the longs, but from there was able to pitch up and have a pretty decent look for a birdie there. All right, so hole number eight, par three, 250. This one's a pretty straightforward shot. Mando to the left to protect you from throwing into a, a hole number three, I believe it was. It's just right there because he's kind of zigzagging. This is one of those shots where as soon as it left my hand, I knew it was not good and just ended up shanking it a little bit to the right in the open field. But it was the right distance, so 
can't complain there it was just about 100 feet off so hole number nine par four 557 just the uh, only thing you got to worry about is is getting clean off the tee here and making sure you don't hit any of these trees and then it's going to be uh pretty close to the road so you got to make sure that your upshot is uh, one that does not skip ob and, and throwing out of bounds on this one would be pretty difficult right off the bat just because of how far the road is to the right and all the trees so throwing my pyro to lay up and like i said got pretty close to the road there but was not out of bounds so that is one thing you got to watch out for so hole number 10 327 this one is across the road so you're gonna be playing on the other side of the park now and pretty straightforward shot now hole uh 10 and or uh, hole 11's t-pad is actually pretty close to this fairway so you do gotta watch out for that if somebody throws one that's just leaked or something like that because when i was getting ready to tee off for hole 11 here uh there was one that probably came within three feet of me after the guy yelled four now this one does play a lot longer which was listed so they must have moved the uh the basket on this one as well gonna be throwing my hex here and had a great shot and then i really absolutely loved this pin position uh it made it very very challenging because they had the drop off right there so it is a little bit of a nerve-wracking putt so hole 12 283 this one's going to be through the trees or you can throw a sidearm and it's going to be just propped right up on that hillside. So throw my pyro and just uh, let it get out a little too far and end up hitting one of those trees, skipping left. But the uh, hillside, there's a lot of roots right there, so it will catch your disc if you, know, if you are starting to roll a little bit. The guy behind me that was playing, I know his caught the edge and rolled a little bit, but the, the, one of the roots stopped him, so... Hole 13, going to be one that's going in the trees and out in the field. You'll kind of see that as a theme here. But just uh, throwing the octane again. And that grass is very, very skippy. So you'll get a lot of ground play. And mine did skip quite a bit. And then just airballing that putt for a birdie. So hole 14, par 3, 317. This one is going to be uh, pretty tricky to throw the hyzer route, in my opinion, just because of the, the branches and everything that are right there. It could definitely be done. You just have to have great angle control. And just with as many trees as there was there, I decided to go with the sidearm. And then I decided to airball the putt again. So hole 15, par 3, 307 the obviously the road's right there so you got to be cautious of that and then there is a lot of wind that can come through uh, this area and luckily it wasn't too too terrible while i was playing but you do have that mando right so you know you can throw whatever you're comfortable with but i felt really comfortable just because the wind wasn't too terrible that morning to throw that uh, side arm up and over and trust it just to come back so hole number 15 gonna be playing nice and long here and then this is just another cool pin position that they have set up or excuse me hole 16 but i was completely throwing blind because one of those trees way down there to the right is a mando and this shot uh was absolutely just an inch away from going in i hit a skip and then just hit the basket and dropped right down so it was luckily that I hit the basket because it probably would have skipped and went all the way to the bottom. Well, hole 17, 518, going to be playing back uphill. So pretty tough one um, just because if how tight the fairway is right there. And then I was throwing, uh, I wish I could remember the disc here, completely forgot, slipped my mind. You'd think I'd have all these memorized, but... Uh, from there just i was flexing it didn't quite work out ended up getting caught this is actually the fairway of 
13 so you're, you'll be underneath so just be a cautious of that and aware while you're playing but hole 18 this one was a par 4 when i played uh, this would be a tough one to get in my opinion just because of how accurate you have to be after 400 feet and then still go through that little goalie so if it is a three you definitely have to be precise i can see that where it is a tweener though uh just because of where i landed i ended up hitting one of those trees so it is one of those ones because you are throwing slightly downhill that you can get but was able to tap that in for a birdie overall though i mean this course is absolutely beautiful regardless of where the pin location is highly recommend it